Today I want to introduce to you Aeon's End. This is a card game I've discovered recently and I thought I'd go through the digital edition with you and teach you a little bit on how to play here today on Legendary Tactics. Okay, we're going to go to uh, how to play Aeon's End. A very interesting uh, card game that I have uh, come across on Steam. So this is uh, a tutorial that kind of flies by a little bit, but I'll be able to clarify what, uh, uh, what things mean. So um, this is uh, Brahma, who's our, our guide, and we must save Gravehold, um, which is our, our city from the evil nemesis Rageborn. And so we've got two young mages to help us out, Jian and Mist, and the, we must defeat the nemesis Rageborn and protect Gravehold at all costs. And so uh, the turn order in this game is randomized. So you can see if at the top there's six uh, ovals, and that is uh, two of them uh, belong to Jian, two of them belong to Mist, and two of them belong to the nemesis. And that determines the turn order. So in each uh, round, the turn order is going to vary. And so you need to make sure that... Uh, um, you have an idea of who's coming up next, if you can, by process of elimination or just playing the odds. Um, so Mist will begin, and uh, Mist is a dagger captain, uh, so that's quite the, quite a title. And at the uh, bottom of uh, the screen, and this may look somewhat familiar to uh, people who have played uh, games like Shards of Infinity or uh, uh, Star Realms or uh, uh, Ascension. Um, it's a, this game's got some neat twists on the on the general uh, design of those games, so we'll take a look. So, uh, gems uh, create uh, ether, so you can uh, which you can use to buy more powerful cards from the supply at the top right. Um, and uh, in the center, you have these uh, areas uh, where you can you can cast spells. Okay, so we're going to start by dragging some gems into the middle here, um, just to start. And we have this Garnet uh, Shard where you can uh, gain another Aether or cast any other's prepped spell. And we'll get to that in a second. Okay, so now we've got all the gems in the middle. So now we can buy uh, a card. We can either buy two Jades or one Diamond Cluster. So you can see here, uh, Diamond Cluster is worth uh, two. And if it's the second time you've played the Diamond Cluster this turn, you gain an additional two. So that's a, a great combo. Um, jades uh, are cheaper, but you and you get two ether, but no uh, no combo is is available. So, um, well, maybe we'll buy a diamond cluster, which is great. So now we have one card left, which is a spell, and we need to put it into the open breach. Okay, so this is uh, essentially a, you can think of them like placeholders for the spells, uh, almost like a staging area where they get prepped, and then they can be used to attack. Uh, either the nemesis or one of uh, the nemesis's minions. Um, and that's all we can do for now. So we're going to uh, uh, discard the cards. Uh, but just before I do, I'll just uh, mention this, this center area, the, uh, the breaches. So you can see open and focus. So <clears throat> focus is, is essentially a partial payment to open the, uh, the breach a little bit. Open is to open the whole uh, breach and then allow you to cast multiple spells um, into, you know, and put them into that, that staging area, uh, the breach, and then casting them from there. So um, the other important thing is here, and I think the, uh, the tutorial is going to mention this, is that everything gets discarded at the end of your turn. Uh, it's interesting, though, because the deck does not get reshuffled. It just gets flipped flipped over so the the order in which you discard is actually going to matter um, which is uh, again a neat twist so so his turn is next now it's the rageborn's turn as you can see the next uh, oval at the top and so the rageborn's about to attack so we draw the nemesis deck and this says uh, unleash gravehold suffers three damage so grave gravehold's um up there at the top you'll see that uh it almost looks like a drop or a, a guitar pick or something like that. The, the green one is the uh, health of, gra of uh, Gravehold, and, and the um, red one is the Nemesis's uh, health. Now, Unleash adds a Fury token, um, which we'll get to. 
Uh, Gravehold suffered three damages and is three damages and is now at 32 life. So we need to fight back. So who, let's see who's up next. So Jian is up next. And uh, Jian was made an orphan by the nameless. So that's uh, a bit of backstory. Um, so as with, with Mist, you play gems to gain ether, gain more cards, prepare spells, and you can do it in any order that you wish. So there are two open breaches for Jian. So for her, we can put the two uh, 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 spells in there ready to fire off next turn and we can play three uh of these now um we can if we use a use this uh a card to gain a gem then we have four to spend so we can get a gem in this case a diamond cluster now there's only six left in the supply there's a limited number um so that's uh, a, an important thing to uh, to realize you're gonna have to balance out these cards uh across your characters so um, all right, so uh, we've each had a turn. There's three ovals remaining so uh, in this round, so we'll see who is up next. Now, um, we're going to end the turn, drop our cards, and uh, it actually turns out to be Gian's turn uh, again. So now that can happen with the Nemesis as well, where the Nemesis gets two turns in a row. Um, and so you have to be careful about that. Not that there's much you can do about it, but just uh, prepare for it. Um, now your spells are ready to cast, so we can send them from the breaches to the enemy. So we can use these spells now to blast uh, the nemesis. Okay, and we dealt two damage. Down The nemesis is down to 58 life. And uh, so now we can uh, play um, the two spells into the breach. And we'll play three gems into the middle. Now there's only one spell we can afford here, the Spectral Echo, um, which deals two damage and allows us to destroy a card in hand. And if you played games like Shards of Infinity, uh, Star Realms, all that stuff, the reason why you'd want to destroy a card in hand is because you can destroy the, the, the weak cards, cards like Crystal and uh, cards like Spark, which are... Uh, weak and and they they kind of bog down your deck because you end up taking suboptimal turns. It's might better to have a, a deck full of uh, powerful cards than a mixture of good and bad cards. So, at the end of this turn, your deck was empty, so the discard piles flipped over. And as I said, there's no shuffling, so you uh, basically the the order that you discard uh, in is um, the order that. Uh, the cards will turn up again so there's some some planning involved in that uh so this time rageborn played a power card does nothing right now but it has a countdown it's going to uh count down in in three more nemesis turns the effect will occur and in this case it's going to do a bunch of damage to the character with the most prepped spells that are already played into the breach so we uh we have a spell for mist i'm gonna send uh, that spell against uh, the nameless the the uh uh, uh, the nemesis there. So Mist has two spells in hand, but only one open breach. So if you find yourself in that situation, you can um, essentially uh, you can uh, prep the the card into breaches focus this turn. So we're going to um, focus that. So we're going to play the first spell, and we're going to give ourselves some some money here, and then we can focus this breach here gives it a bit of open room that we can use then to place the spell uh, into so um, so if you're able to play the the focus then that uh, allows you to um, to place a spell into it even if it's not fully open and normally available so now the power card uh, is counted down to two so we got two more nemesis turns we'll see what the next card is and we have a minion and uh, the minion is uh, is essentially does nothing this turn but the persistent effect will occur every nemesis turn until you destroy it uh, and we have Jian up next now there's more than one target for your spells you can damage either the minion or the nemesis or you can leave spells in uh, open breaches to cast later uh, but uh, you want to make sure uh, you're creating room for any other spells uh, you know you want to prep so this minion here um, every time 
Um, the uh, Nemesis gets a turn. Gravehold suffers damage equal to the number of Fury tokens Rageborn has. So that's, uh, you know, at the moment that's only two. Uh, he's not that upset, but uh, he can be more upset, and that can be a problem. So we're going to try and take out this minion, and we're going to um, prep that other spark spell into the breach when we get a moment. Um, so now we've drawn a stronger source of uh, ether. We can continue to grow the powers. <clears throat> so we've got uh, some good uh, some good options here. And uh, so we can use that now to spend on focus um, or we can buy a more powerful spell. So we've got five to spend, six if we buy a gem. Uh, so um, in this case, uh, let's buy... Uh, essence theft. Now we don't get to benefit from that extra uh, item there, but that's okay. We're going to end our turn. And uh, at the end of the turn, you you can discard your uh, the order in which your cards are discarded. And again, that can have a an effect uh, because depending on the cards that come up. You know, you can kind of prep their order so you make sure if there's combinations possible, then you can take advantage or set things up to, to uh, at least have an, a good chance of taking advantage. So one of the spells is in a closed breach and you're able to prep it there because it was focused, but now we must uh, cast it. So we're going to have to use it. We'll use it against that uh, that uh, minion there. And why not? We'll just, we'll just uh, focus on getting rid of that minion for the time being. And uh, we can also spend uh, ether on charges for our ability. And each charge costs uh, two ether. And when fully charged, we can use the ability. So I'll show you where that is. So this little uh, piece of, reminds me a little bit of uh, uh, Trivial Pursuit. So if you spend two ether into that space, once it's full, so in other words, in this case, once you've spent 10 ether, any ally draws four cards. So that can be a very powerful uh, benefit, but it does cost some uh, some money, obviously. And so we're going to, uh, here we can choose either to gain one uh, uh, ether or cast any prepped spell. And we're gonna use it to, um, to do that. We're gonna actually open this now, why not? So that opens that breach. It's now open for business and can be used for, um, placing spells at a later point and we're going to throw these three on here and uh, I think we're going to spend it on the oh, let's get some jade actually I was going to uh, beef up my ability now if you have one ether they're not uh, very useful um, so the, the game uh, just ends your turn at that point okay now the power card is counted down to one so it's going to take place on the next nemesis turn and so uh, the nemesis draws Woven Sky. So this one can be discarded if we can spare the resources. Um, so let's see who's next. So Mist, uh, to discard, the, the card that uh, the nemesis played is a, a, a power card to discard it. Uh, we just need to do what it says to get rid of that power card. So if we hover over this, uh, discard to discard discard three cards in hand well tell you what uh, let's get rid of one spark okay we got to click the power card and then we know it knows what we're up to and uh, let's do this so it doesn't have a nemesis uh, turn coming up next so let's discard the spark and we're gonna play a couple gems we're gonna buy a jade so this is where you kind of have to plan things out a little bit here Let's see who's up next. Of course, it's uh, Gian. There was only one choice. And uh, now we're apparently ready to defend Gravehold. Uh, and I'll just uh, play a little bit more. I'll just show you a couple more things uh, before um, before moving on. Because I, I want to uh, basically just go over a quick guide on how to play this game. I'll be doing some playthroughs at a later point. Um, so our goal is to uh, reduce Rageborn to zero life. Um, by uh, emptying its deck and uh, so it has no nemesis cards left in play. Um, however, if Gravehold ever reaches zero life or all mages reach zero life, uh, shown in their, their uh, health meter, you will lose the game. So 
Jian here has 12 health, as you can see. And what's interesting is if Jian goes to zero health, Jian can still continue to play. Um, but if both mages go down to uh, zero, then it's game over. Now, if, if Jian goes down to zero and has to take damage, that damage is applied to Gravehold instead. So it's just a, it's a you know it's a good thing to uh, to be aware of. So we have uh, a spell here. We're going to take out this nemesis here. Or sorry, the minion there. And we're going to play a couple spells into the breach. And uh, now that the tutorial is more or less over, we can do this cool thing, which just says play all gems, and it just plays them all. And so we can choose another spell. We're going to take this one here. And uh, then we begin another round. So you can see um, how this game plays out. Ra uh, Rageborn gets a, an attack. And uh, the player with the most open breaches suffers three damage. So that uh, is uh, Dian. Actually, they're tied. So we can have the damage applied to whoever. Uh, Mist is going to suffer the, the three damage. And when Rageborn strikes, a special card is played from the strike deck. And Rageborn loses three Fury tokens. And this can happen directly from a card, or if Rageborn has four or more Fury tokens at the end of the Nemesis turn. And when, when uh, Rageborn unleashes, it gains one Fury token. So you can just see in this card, it's going to unleash. And uh, it's going to unleash a couple times here build up some fury which can affect uh, other future cards here so okay so um, we're going to uh, draw that into the breach and play all the gems now here we're going to look and see i don't think we get a lot of value out of that prepped spell so we're going to gain an extra thing here we're going to grab one of these powerful spells here they've got some really uh, neat one especially this one's really powerful if you have some opened breaches um, this one allows you to play uh, uh, two ether to cast any player's prepped spell and do two damage. Um, this one deals three damage and you can discard a card in hand. If you do, any player gains one life. So there's lots of uh, cards of spectral echo, echo destroy, allows you to destroy a card in hand. You'll learn the, uh, the icons uh, gradually uh, before too long. Um, they're uh, they're pretty straightforward, um, but the, uh, the 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 gems at the top, and then they have these two kind of more economic uh, cards. So this one allows you to focus any um, any player's breach or destroy this, and Gravehold gains three life. This one gains uh, one one charge, and any ally gains one charge. That's one slice of the of the pie there. So. Um, Tell you what, let's uh, let's open this uh, this breach here. Now we can play three spells, and uh, that could be really powerful. Now it's waiting for me to decide what order I want to discard uh, these cards in. I'm not experienced enough at the game yet to to give you any advice in that department, but um, but it's a it's a neat kind of thing. So we're going to um, do this. And we get to destroy a card in hand, removes it for the game from the game entirely. And as I said, you want to get rid of cards like Spark and uh, and uh, the the crystal, the weaker cards, and make your deck much more efficient. Okay, and so we're going to um, let's see, we're going to prep these spells and play all gems. And we've got three to spend, four if we buy a gem. So let's buy a gem. That's good. Make our, our deck more efficient. Which order are we going to discard in? Okay, and so you can get a good sense of the feel of the, the game here. I'll just finish off this round just so you can see how it, uh, how it all plays. But, um, all right, we're going to cast this spell. We're going to prep uh, these two. We're going to play all gems. It gives us just three to spend. Uh, we're going to spend it on a pie piece here. And last one up is uh, Jian. And uh, there is uh, this one here where we can discard a card. And uh, we'll discard. Uh, let's discard one of those. And now Jian or Mist gains life. We'll give it to Jian to even things out. We're going to cast this spell to blast the bad guy. We're going to restock the 
spells here. Play all gems and take a pie piece. Uh, Jian's ability, uh, it, you can cast a prepped spell twice, which is pretty good. Okay, and that's basically the game. Um, just so you can see, it's, it ends up being kind of a massive battle, like a giant uh, epic kind of thing. So, um, But just to give you an idea of how it plays, this is... Uh, uh, basically the uh the idea so anyway hope you got some value out of this video and if you did please take a moment to like comment and subscribe down below and uh, we'll see you here next time on legendary tactics